oh no, the AI, it's coming for our jobs. It's going to ruin programming competitions. It's going to destroy the whole software dev world. Or is it? Let's talk about it. So, y'all might have seen this new chat GPT thing. It seems to have taken over the entire internet, and in particular, the entirety of my Twitter feed. And I'm getting a lot of questions, I'm seeing a lot of concerns, a lot of excitement. And honestly, after playing with it, I'm starting to understand why. Some of the examples I have seen are nuts. Things as crazy as converting a PHP app to Next.js just by pasting the code and telling GPT to do it. I've been incredibly impressed, but I'm also incredibly impressed with Copilot. I think that a lot of these tools are going to change how we do development. I don't think they're going to take away the need for developers though. Let's take a look at some of what ChatGPT can do, some of how I use Copilot, and why I think this is all so interesting. Write JavaScript code that generates the Fibonacci sequence. And here is some code that creates a Fibonacci sequence, an example of how to use it. And one of the most interesting things is that it gives you like in-depth descriptions of why it did each of these things and details about them. Do you know what an AI can't do? Like and subscribe to a video. Do you know who can though? You. Likes are free. Don't tell the robots though. Button's right there and it helps the channel out a ton. Thank you for that. Back to it. But that's just telling it to write some basic JavaScript, like the thing you do in an interview. Cool. What about the stuff I do every day? Like I need to go redo the nav bar on my website with Tailwind and React. Okay. Uh, build me a navigation header for a web page using React, TypeScript, and Tailwind. The header should have three links, one to home, one to blog, and one to the about page. Let's start with that. It even has an SVG for the home. Fascinating. To use this header, you can simply import it into your React component. That's nuts. Shall we go throw this in an app and see how it looks? Have a stock, empty, create T3 app template with just Tailwind. Going to paste in the new header component, and we're going to mount it here. Header. That actually looks phenomenal. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to look that good. I'm not sure how I feel about the color, though. Let's ask it to change the color for us. Change the color of theme of the nav bar to be purple. It even tells you in the text instruction here, change BG Gray 800 to BG Purple 800. So if we find this BG Gray 800, see if it's the only one it is. Purple. Look at that. Uh, make the background of the nav bar a gradient. I'm just going to copy and you like this guy. I'm very curious how this looks. That actually looks really good. But what about more specific like math or domain problems? What about something like advent of code, which as you all know, I'm really into. Well, uh, let's go to advent of code in day one and see if it can solve the problem. Generate JavaScript code that can complete the following prompt. Okay, let's see this code. Sample list of calories. So this is the sample list, which has the one, two, three, then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Has max calories, max elf for let i is zero, i is less than calories dot length, i is less, uh, I dot reduce. So it sums them. And if that is higher, then it sets the max calories to that value. Pretty solid. Let's actually just take my test input and put it in. Generate an answer to the prompt with the following input. 67,584, is that right? Nope. I'll just tell you that for Advent of Code day one, it can kind of find the answer. For Advent of Code day two, it absolutely can't. And I want to show how other tools, specifically Copilot, is able to help me as a developer deliver a solution faster. So the problem, TLDR, is you're given this list of numbers, you have to sum how many, or sum the numbers that are grouped, so split by these, and then figure out what the max sum of one of those groups is. So 
const input equals. And that's smart enough to autocomplete for me. Oh, look at that. That's what do next there. So the answer is already in this code base, which is going to give this a slight technical advantage. But I just want to say when I did advent of code and I did this problem, and I actually managed to do this problem so fast that I was in the top 200 in the world. The reason for that on the hottest day of advent of code is because Copilot carried my ass. Going to delete all of this, and we're going to redo this one from scratch really quick so I can show you just how fast the Copilot experience lets me move. First, I need the input. So const input equals, and it's already going to autocomplete the await for that. Const grouped equals input.split. Now I have the two groups. So const uh, so, or group sums equals. That's not quite right. But from here, I can still do a lot. Uh, instead of answers, maybe I'll change this to be const uh, numbers equals. Perfect. And then return numbers that reduce. Perfect. Now I have the group sums. Uh, const max equals. I forgot to close this. Console.log max. And if I did this right, and I already have the terminal running, there we are. That's the answer, 72017. Cool. So that let me solve that insanely quick. Let's go on to part two now, though. It's OK. We actually need the top three elves. OK. That's annoying. Thankfully, I have this list. So const top three equals. Look at that. Const sum equals. And then sum. And if I did that correctly, there is the answer. And if I look here, that is the answer I put there. As you can see, the skill of Copilot isn't necessarily knowing what code is right or wrong. Although when I got tripped up here during the group sums part, that definitely helped. The real trick is knowing how to translate what you're looking for into code keys that Copilot is smart enough to then fill from there. It still requires being clever, but in a different way. I'm not writing clever code. I am solving this problem in a clever fashion by giving good names and keywords to uh, Copilot to then generate code more effectively. Like when I say const top three, that's a good hint for the or for Copilot to know it needs to generate something based on that. Or here when it was trying to do something weird with like the strings and sets, but I wanted numbers, I deleted the code and wrote const numbers, and then it was able to do this correctly. Those are the tricks that make something like Copilot so powerful, where something like ChatGPT almost inverses the dynamic, where the code is wrong, and then you have to explain to ChatGPT how it's wrong and how it should change things and how it could improve from there. Copilot almost feels like mini Google searches as I'm coding. And if it doesn't have the immediate right result, I can change the search slightly. And then if it does, I apply it. I really like how Copilot shortens the feedback loop as a developer, but I am also really fascinated with how something like ChatGPT fundamentally changes where the code comes from in the first place. These tools are very interesting, but both require you as a developer, both to understand the code that's being generated and also be to be frank, very careful when you apply that code because it might seem like it's doing the right thing and it just isn't. There's a bunch of clips, like this video is gonna be eight minutes long, but I filmed this for over half an hour where I thought things were working and they weren't and vice versa. And just cleaning stuff up that way can often be more work than writing it the correct way yourself. All that said, this stuff's super exciting. If you want more videos about the chaos that is AI right now, let me know and I'll get those soon. Anyways, if you liked this, please let me know in the comments. YouTube thinks you're going to like whatever video it's putting right there, so definitely give that a shot. If you like videos like this, I hope to film more of them. This one wasn't live, and that's weird, but wanted to give this a shot. Let me know what you think. Peace, nerds.